Welcome to the Mayor Show. As always, as I extend, we have great people here to talk to about great things happening and something that impacts Ben Salem. It's not in Ben Salem, but a community hospital, Lower Bucks County Hospital that's been around since 1954. And I have two special guests with us today. And certainly to my right, we have the CEO, Linda Grass, who's going to tell us a lot about the hospital with where she good morning. been and good morning. Good to be with you. And to my left is Mary Ellen Davis. And Mary Ellen is a licensed pra pra practical nurse and MBA in medicine, nursing. I think you do it all anyway, right? <laughs> Welcome. I try. Welcome Thank you. Thank you. Thanks Mary for having us. I've had Mary Ellen before, and uh, we'll talk about some of the things in healthcare, which is today. I don't think we could talk more of an important subject than that. So, Linda, I want to start with you. Give us a little background. Okay. Since now you are the CEO there and where you've been and how you got there. Thank you. Well, thank you for having us this morning. And uh, actually, I've been with Lower Bucks Hospital for just about a year and a half now. And it's been an exciting year and a half. There's been a lot of changes. The hospital's going through a major, major transformation. And it's a good thing. A lot of good things happening. But before I came to Lower Bucks Hospital, I was with uh, Jeans Hospital in Northeast Philadelphia, which is part of Temple Health for um, close to 30 years. So when I was looking for a change, uh, I wanted a community hospital. I love the partnership with the community. I love the challenges of a community hospital. And when Prime Healthcare, who is the parent company of, of Lower Bucks, called me and asked if I had an interest in coming to be the CEO at Lower Bucks Hospital, I jumped at the opportunity. And it has been a good, 16, 17 months, and I look forward to uh, really making a difference at that hospital. Well, I don't know if everybody remembers when, obviously some of the folks my age, when it was built in 1954, was a community hospital, That's, and continue to call it that, and try to get the community back and involved more than what it was. I know uh, all of the health industry is going through trying times. We don't know what to expect tomorrow, but, uh, Healthcare is the most important thing that out there for us. Absolutely. Um, really, the journey at Laura Bucks Hospital to regain its strength in the community of Lower Bucks County started back in 2012 when Prime Healthcare uh, acquired the hospital, um, got it out of bankruptcy, and immediately infused uh, $30 million into the infrastructure, into the the, um, the technology, the facility itself is just beautiful. And uh, they, they, they really have uh, done a lot to preserve jobs and to continue to create a place for the community to have health care. And that's their number one goal. If you look at Prime Healthcare, they are the fifth largest hospital system in the United States. And they're also the uh, modern healthcare just uh, listed them as the most rapidly growing healthcare. Their mission is to acquire hospitals, community hospitals for the most part, um, that otherwise might not be here, save jobs, save a hospital for the community, and really invest in growing, in, in, in preserving, and, and even more than that, making it a quality, very accessible hospital for the community. And if you look back over the past couple of years, uh, I believe that the, the transformation that's been happening at Lower Box um, is, is now winning back that community. And it's, it's not an easy task. You need to be able to convince. We had to convince the community that we were quality. And you have to continue to do that. Safe <laughs> and comfortable. Right. That's yeah. right. So yeah. good things happening. But yeah. we're, really, we're really excited to tell that story. Yeah, and Mary Allen, uh, Tell us about what you're doing up there now. I know you've been in the health industry for a long time. For 30 years. I've been a nurse yeah. for 30 years. And, and you working. started out when you were 10. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I've been working in the community locally here for 30 years. Um, I do do outreach for um, Lower Bucks Hospital. And like Linda said, you know, we are really focused on the community and building our relationships. Um, I am the liaison, physician liaison, as well as community outreach. So we're involved in, you know, with local senior centers. Um, we're on the Ben Salem Business Directory here in Ben Salem. Um, any way to reach out, we have our primary care physician right here in Ben Salem. 
uh, who's one of, we own one of his practices. Um, but we're there for the community to reach out and get people to come to Lower Bucks. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, and I guess the, the road being done 13 has helped a lot now. Yes. I, that's it, been it a bear has. for the last few years. Having, having Bristol uh, Pike open and that folks can get to us is, is an incredible uh, uh, advantage to, to us oh, at this absolutely. point. And especially as we continue to uh, advance the services and really grow the hospital, um, our, our next effort is going to be around becoming a trauma center. So we want the community, we want the EMS to be able to get to us. And um, also we'll be uh, constructing a helipad. So um, all things we want, all roads open, the airways open, and uh, I think the next generation of our hospital is going to be about access and growth. Well, I'd be remiss if I didn't talk about our emergency services mm -hmm. people here. We have the best mm -hmm. between police department, fire, and our EMS people. Yes. Uh, we do a heck of a job. They do, not, not me. But they do a heck of a job here, and we support them very, very much. And I know they're coming into your hospital and other surrounding hospitals, but, but they just do a tremendous Absolutely. job. And, and it's a team that takes for all of this to come together. And I know you realize that up there at Lower Bucks. You have to have a team. It's a partnership, and, and that partnership begins with the community being able to get to us. The EMS has done a fabulous job with, with bringing patients um, to the, the right location, to the hospital, to the emergency room. Uh, uh, and we, we have really focused our efforts on uh, making major changes in the emergency department. We brought um, Dr. David Jaslow in, who is the medical director well known in all of the uh, EMS squads, the industry in the area. David's known for not just emergency medicine, but emergency preparedness. He goes out to the fire and rescue squads. He goes out to industry to talk about what happens if there's mass casualty, what happens if you need to quickly rally behind um, preparing for a, a, a tragedy. and. David is the best at that. He's well known in the county and the state. He's now our medical director of the emergency department and he has led just significant changes. He brought a whole new team of physicians in who are all residency trained in emergency medicine. And I really believe in the past, he, he's only been there since July, but we have seen our emergency department grow, the hospital has grown, and the community has now uh, regain the confidence, as has the EMS, that if you come to Lower Box, you will get excellent care. Uh, so that's where it all begins, in that emergency department and having that relationship with the EMS. Yeah, so I, I absolutely agree with what you said. Mary Ellen, one of the things you talk about outreach, one of the things that uh, Lower Box has always, always seriously been uh, is the care. Yes, the yeah. care that the nurses have absolutely. worked there for years. They've always been known for that. And uh, I hear that all the time, and I've heard it before, and certainly I hear it now. But that's an important part of it. People, and I know you do the outreach on People that. describe it like a family, like when they're there at Lower Bucks as a patient. They feel like they're part of a family and that they're getting that kind of care. And that's important. I mean, we, you know, like Glinda said, we're, we're reaching out to the community in that way. So it's very important. And, and the outreach part is very important. I mean, look, if you don't, sell your product and let them know what the product is, obviously it Nobody doesn't knows. work. So right. I, uh, agree. I always say here at Ben Salem, what I do, we don't have a product. We have service. Right. That's the one we try to give the best best service uh, you can give. I, I always, when I was in business, and the back of my card says now, is committed to service, service, service. And I know that's so important Absolutely. in what you do in healthcare. Yeah. Uh, I know. When I go to a doctor's office, I have to sit there and wait for an hour and a half. That, that kind of, I don't like, but, but you know, they're busy mm -hmm. and things happen. We have to understand that. But uh. We have actually, um, we measure our effectiveness at um, getting people through our emergency department and also um, uh, do surveys on how was the patient experience. And at this point, in the past year and a half to two years, our scores have been just Excellent, and, and the emergency department, the changes that we have made with shaving off the wait time and getting patients through 
quicker when they come in the door to get them in to see a physician very quickly and the whole turnaround experience in the emergency department has been very uh, much improved in time and expediency so the uh, we're very happy about that but one of the things you you mentioned the the uh, patient experience and when Mary Ellen brings a physician to me when when you go through uh, things when you go through bank bankruptcy and change of hands, sometimes you lose physicians. Well, they're coming back now, and one of the things that Mary Ellen has done is brought physicians to me who used to be at Lower Bucks Hospital, maybe left to go to one of um, the other hospitals, but is now they're now coming back and saying, you know, I really want to come back. I really love the care my patients got at Lower Bucks, and the nurses are just phenomenal. They're excellent and. That's one of the things that makes the physician experience a good one, the patient experience, and, uh, and that's what you see at Lower Box. And when I first got there and did rounds, the I, nurses told me, I've been here for 30 years, this is my family, and I want to see that the right things are done. You know, I, 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 I was at the hospital last week to visit someone, and um, the son was there. And we had talked about the nurses, and he said, they're my heroes. Yeah. Wow. That's this great. past yeah. week, That's honestly. Great. And, That's great. And, uh, and they are. <coughs> they work very, very hard. And, you know, the docs are there doing their thing, but without the nurses, too. That's, I always talk teams, guys. I'm, yeah. a, I'm a team guy. Absolutely. I don't care what we in, the endeavor is, what it is, there's a team. I think it's, the key change at Lower Bucks, too, is it's really been leadership, administrative leadership. I mean, Linda taking over a year ago, that's one of the reasons I joined the team, is because I could see her leadership really leading this hospital in such a positive way, right? And really reaching out to the community. Um, I don't feel like I've ever reached out to the community so much in an organization as, as this one. You know, I'm involved in every, there's senior centers, there's, you know, festivals, there's things that go on in Ben Salem, and we're out there supporting it. And it's really great to have, you know, leadership that actually you know, sets well, the precedence. The, the, and it sets that the forward. tone, sure. and, and everybody Absolutely. has to come together. So obviously, you're doing a good job. <laughs> well, that, thank that, you. That, that's what I'm hearing. <laughs> you you're know, doing a good job. The, and, the proof is in the pudding, and, yeah. and I, I always say that because, again, the uh, if the patients are happy, the physicians are back in in wanting to do the uh, their their work at Lower Box. We have a team around us that we've got a high performing management team and the uh, the employees. It's all about, as you mentioned, it's a team effort to be able to move the hospital. And uh, something else that I, I really strongly believe in is partnerships. Uh, partnerships, if you walk into our lobby, it's it's absolutely... It's I was going to just, I'm not interrupting. <laughs> Go not right ahead. Here, because I, I've been around the hospital for many, many years. And the lobby, when I walked in, ha is so inviting. This is just this right. past week. I'm not saying it I'm, honestly, it, just to, to make a show here. I was there, and it was so inviting. And I, I, I told my wife, I said, my goodness, look at the difference here coming into the lobby. Did you hear the piano playing? We have it, no, I saw the piano, but okay. it wasn't playing. Okay. okay. It wasn't playing. Now, this was... Uh, I guess midday. Midday. Okay. Well, we, we have a play. It, we, we give it a little rest. It, it's, it's on a timer, but... I saw it right in the room, right. in the corner, right on the one, one side. One Friday evening, and, and just, um, we, we, we started our partnership. Let me just take a step back. The partnership started with the artists of Bristol um, showing their beautiful art, um, uh, art uh, wear and, the, and the, their pictures throughout the lobby, and... That was really our first step. The second thing was we were gifted from our um, auxiliary this beautiful baby grand piano. Um, and we have it programmed to play music throughout the day. But music and art is healing. So we thought this is really a great experience for people to come in, to feel comfortable, to feel invited. And when they get there, to have a, a little bit of an escape. Because there's people that come in that are there to see patients that are very ill, that are dying, or whatever the situation, someone's facing testing that is, is very uh, uh, anxiety provoking, the art, the piano is there to calm. So we, we, we did that, and one Friday night when I was leaving, 
the hospital, uh, I went down into the lobby and there was a elderly couple in the lobby and they were dancing. Oh, and wow. and there was a wonderful waltz that was playing and they were having a wonderful time dancing in our lobby and and they were arm in arm and it was really beautiful and I thought if we we definitely made those two happy and it was an experience that will be lasting to me well, uh, I'm disappointed <laughs> it wasn't playing when I was here. <laughs> I don't know what happened here. <laughs> right. uh oh he's coming well, to shut the piano off. <laughs> you come back and we will we'll definitely play the piano for you but we also put uh, Pete's coffee in uh, we felt the aroma of the coffee and having a latte or a cappuccino while you're there waiting for someone or if you've had testing and uh, before you leave to be able to get a cup of coffee and some home-baked uh, biscottis or uh, scones or whatever it's it's very it's very inviting so it starts at the front door it's I the believe. little stuff the absolutely. little stuff absolutely absolutely well I'm going to next to the last word to say anything you want to talk about anything that it's exciting that you're doing that you hope to get done so just that we're, like Linda said, we have a lot of new physicians on board. Um, we actually had just a neurosurgeon that just joined us from Princeton Brain and Spine. It's Dr. Mark McLaughlin. And we're so excited to have him there as well. Um, locally here in Ben Salem, we have a great primary care physician, Dr. Kartik Patel, who's always taking new patients. If anyone here in Ben Salem ever needs, you know, a primary care physician, He's affiliated with the hospital, and he's excellent. He's my primary care, too, so okay. I can say that from personal experience. Um, but, yeah, I mean, just about our partnership with the community, it's been great. Like I said, leadership's been great. Service lines are very strong, and, you know, it's very confident there. Like, I just want people to come back and feel like they have the confidence to come back. That well, it's, you know, it's just we're talking place. here. Folks you know. want to do I'm sure they can visit. Do you want to go just to visit Absolutely. the hospital? And Absolutely. like you say, they could come into the lobby and, and if they have questions. I, We've I had know folks it's stop local. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm going to give you the last word. Okay. Well, I love the last word. <laughs> well, I think you'll see exciting things happening in the next couple of years at Lower Bucks Hospital. Uh, when we become a trauma center, uh, we'll be partnering. We have a, a partnership uh, right now with Temple for Temple Health System for neurology and also as our mentor in trauma. So we're looking at moving the hospital in a very positive direction. But uh, again, I invite the community to come and see us, stop by, we'll get the piano playing. And <laughs> I, I do believe that you will be uh, very happy with service and the quality and uh, the care. Well, I want to thank you so much, thank Linda, you for, for being us. here sure. today. Thank Mary you. Ellen, good to nice see you to see again, again. And, and hear from you. Until next time, everybody, God bless.